Hello, hello, how are you today? Welcome back again. Today, we're going to work on rounding. We're going to be rounding numbers to the nearest 10. So if you want to learn how to round numbers to the nearest 10, stay with me. What is rounding? What does rounding mean? How do we round? All those questions come to your mind when you hear the word rounding, right? To round a number, we have to follow many steps and we have to be very careful because it tends to confuse ourselves. So let's see what is rounding. When we want to say an amount but we don't know exactly the number or we don't know exactly an amount of cookies, for example, that you have, we use round. About 80 people were at the town center this morning. About 80 people were at the town center this morning. I don't know exactly how many people were at the town center in the morning. Or I don't need to be so specific. So that is the time that I use rounding. There is something very important that we need to keep in mind when we're going to round. We must know when to round up or when to round down. Let's pay attention to this. Always, when we have four or less, we're going to let it rest. We're going to keep the number like it is. And if we have five or more, we're going to let it soar. We're going to increase the number. Here we have a song. I have a song for you guys. It says, five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. <laughs> Do you like this song? Keep in mind that song and you're going to be successful. The next step, and it's also very important, is to know place value. Do you know place value? Okay, let's go over place value. Here we have two numbers, 86 and 386. In the first number, 86, I have eight tens and six ones. That's why my number is 86. I just have tens and ones. In the second number, 386, I have hundreds, tens, and ones. That's why my number is 386. Now that we have reviewed place value, let's see how to apply it to round numbers. Let's go ahead. In the first example, we're going to round to the nearest 10. As I want to round to the nearest 10, I am going to underline my 10th place. I am going to knock the next door. What is the next door in this case? The one's playing. And now my song. Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. What is the digit in my one's place? Very good, eight. So if it is eight, what do I need to do? Yes, very good. I need to round up. So my number five will become in a six and my number eight will become in a zero. Now let's see this example. 75. Seven is in the tens place. Five is in the ones place. Again, I am going to round to the nearest ten. So I am going to underline the seven because seven is in the tens place. We're going to knock next door. Five or more, round up. Five or more, let it soar. Seven becomes eight and the five will become a zero. So 75 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 80. Very good. Now we're going to round a three-digit number. Mm, 432. I am going to underline my 10th place. What is the digit in the 10th place? 
Yes, very good. Three. So I am going to underline my tenth place and I circle my ones place. My ones place, the digit that is in the ones place is the one that tells me if I round up or down. So what is the digit in the ones place? Two. Now the song. For or less, let it rest. So that means that the three is going to stay the same because I have two in the ones place and two tells me that the three keeps the same. And then the number four, which is in the hundreds place, will keep the same. I will not change the hundreds place. So 432 rounded to the nearest 10 is 430. Yay! Very good! We did it! Excellent! Remember to subscribe and like the video! Hi! See you soon! Remember, have fun with math!